Harley Day Rider back at you here once again on the 2011 Harley Electric Glide. Just stopped down, picked her up from the shop. She got her new tires on her, all new gaskets, new oil change. They called me today, she needed a new battery. So there's a new battery in her now. I don't know if you remember, my, look back at some of my past videos where you see that you had to crank the bike a little bit. Like you'd hit the starter and it would crank, crank, crank and then start. And I guess the reason that was is because of the battery. So the battery didn't have enough cranking amps, I guess, from what I was told. So they put a new battery in it and then new rear brakes. So uh, she should be good. Hopefully everything's going to hold up on her there. get through this wind trying to ride a little bit easier there with these new uh, new set of tires on here and I don't know if you can hear the wind or not folks but it is again whipping me around on the bike but tomorrow it's supposed to snow so I thought I better get out today get the bike picked up get everything taken care of uh, I don't know if I, I don't know if I washed her or not though she looks a little bit cleaner so maybe they gave her a little bit of a bath there but uh, hopefully everything's going to be okay on it there. They tell me if I'm going on a trip, now the bike's ready to go. So that's the big thing. Uh, they didn't even bother putting the backrest back in. That's all right. I'll put it back on. Not a big deal. Good group down here in Wintersville, Ohio. Nice folks. So other than that, everything on the bike checked out. Brakes feel a lot better. I don't know why I stopped there. Getting reacquainted, I guess, to the bike. Anyhow, so we'll get down here on the highway, get blown around, get blown around for a little while, and then get the motorcycle back down get her put away in anticipation for the snow tomorrow all right shields fogging up a little bit so let me negotiate this wind in the highway and then I'll bring you back in here a little bit after a while holy day rider I'll talk to you soon Hey guys, I thought I'd bring you back in here and let you listen to some of this wind blowing around here. You know, it didn't say it was going to be uh, gusty at 15 to 17 miles an hour like it was the other day. But it's almost, it feels like it's the same. So, ride down in a windstorm, ride home in a windstorm. But anyway, <laughs> you gotta get home, right? Got to get the bike home safe and sound. They did tell me with new tires. I know I posed this question before. How do you ride a motorcycle with new tires? Because I'm not used to that. And they did tell me, actually, the biggest thing is if it's raining and you have new tires, to be careful because the tires do let out, as somebody said on the channel, the silicone or silicone, and it makes the uh, makes the surface of the tire uh, a little slippery especially in the water so that's where we're just uh, kind of watching these bends a little bit more than I normally would worry about them and uh, not tilting the bike as much as I normally would till you get the tire scuffed up a little bit so that's something to think about so it doesn't feel bad this is one bend down here that I never like uh, and I think one day, because I slipped on this bend down here, and uh, I didn't drop the bike or anything, but it just, you felt the back end kick a little bit. It's still so, a little leery around down here, around this bridge. But uh, other than that, everything seems to be going pr fairly well so far. Uh, they did something to the clutch. The clutch feels a lot different, so they must have readjusted the clutch uh, during the service. And uh, it just, it, I don't know, I guess it feels more responsive. 
maybe is what I'm thinking. One time I went down there and the guy said, did you notice your clutch shift slipping? And I said, I wouldn't really notice the difference because I, you know, I never owned an electric light. I don't know where the clutch should be at anyway. So that's what he told me. He says, well, anyway, oh, I better negotiate. Oh, here we go. So he told me, he says, well, yeah, I adjusted it a little bit. So they must have readjusted it even more this time. So, all right, let me negotiate this uh, bend here. Not have this tractor trailer up my backside. It doesn't look that bad, but there is a uh, place up here. I don't know what it was. Right there, I think that metal place. Now let's get out of here before that truck crushes us. All right, we got bad to past the worst part of my trip, actually, that little bend right there, believe it or not. Welcome back to the wild, wonderful West Virginia. Before long, before you know it, we'll be coming into Pennsylvania and uh, getting back into the wild, wonderful, lovely PA state. So, anybody hear that wind? seems like the shifter is quieter now like you know, I'm not getting that ka-chunk thing you know clunk 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 thing that you usually get on a Harley I don't understand that but hey it is what it is uh, it actually sounds smoother so you know overall the 5k service was worth getting done um, and, and you know the tires the battery the brakes the 5k service uh, yeah it did cost a lot I'm not telling you it was cheap by any means. Uh, I told my wife how much it was this morning and she started looking for her heart pills. <laughs> uh, she couldn't believe it, how much it cost. But I told her, when you're on two wheels, you want to be as safe as you possibly can. So, uh, you know, you might as well have a certified Harley-Davidson mechanic look at your Harley-Davidson. If you have a Honda, you might as well have a certified Honda dealer look at your Honda. That's who knows your bike. And that's who will take care of you. So. You know, be safe out there. There's a shitload of potholes on this road I gotta watch. Alright guys, I'm not gonna BS you and baffle you with my BS. I'll uh, we'll be back with you here a little bit further down the road. Alright, bye-bye now. Alright guys, here's some wind blowing at us. You can hear it, see my shield blowing around there. She's really blowing down here, man. At least I'm getting closer to home. So that's the important thing. I am getting closer to home. I should be there not too long from now. But uh, yeah, she's really whipping me around out here on this road. I know. Quit complaining, Jack. You know, you're on the motorcycle, you're riding, and, you know, you're feeling good, right? So, that's the big thing. Wow. Dude, it's really windy. Better close the shield. The chances of getting dirt in your face when you're riding like this is, man, it, it really, really greatly increases if you're getting something in your eye and then you can't see. But yeah, it's actually lifting the bike off the road a little bit. So, I don't know if I should be uh, hanging out with this truck or not, seeing maybe I'll catch wind, but I think I'm starting to draft off of him, and uh, it's not a good thing. Uh, I think maybe he's giving me even more wind, but I think my turn is uh, coming up here, so. I don't want to be no Evil Knievel. For you younger guys that don't know who Evil Knievel was, you may want to check out some YouTube videos. For the older guys watching the videos, you know who Evil Knievel was. Remember, we all wanted to be old Evil Knievel. So. I can't follow this guy anymore. He's driving me nuts. Let's try to get out of here. Not 
bad for six gear, huh? All right. I kind of hate trolling along behind somebody like that. It just kind of gets boring after a while. Plus, I wanted to see if the bike had a lot of pickup and go. And it's been, it's all right. All right, so I'm down here. Let's see here, we're almost at my exit. Yep. Sorry, I missed a big sign that said PA. Remember how big that West Virginia sign was? Well, the Pennsylvania sign is just a little roadside sign, and it says like "Welcome to PA." So I just traveled three states on my motorcycle. Um, that's pretty good, huh? Three states in you know half hour. Ohio, West Virginia, Pennsylvania. Ah, that's what a lot of people like about PA. You can get in and out of PA and go different ways and different visit different states pretty rapidly. And what's also nice is when we go down to Ohio, gas prices are almost 40 cents cheaper a gallon than it is in PA. The reason being is Pennsylvania has what, what is known as the politician tax. I mean gas tax. I'm sorry. Gas tax. And, um, supposed to go to the roadways and yeah it doesn't so uh, and you've seen our roads around here I've had you on enough of them uh, let's get off this exit get off this highway I do have my uh, freeze out suit on in case anybody was wondering I definitely have the freeze out suit on today because it's only like 50 degrees yeah that clutch is a lot more responsive very nice good good job Good job. The tires are a lot more comfortable too. It feels like I'm actually riding on some nice rubber under my butt, you know? Oh, you know what I mean. Feels pretty comfortable there, so. Alright. Making our final turn to head home. I did a nice job on my pipes, so I felt pretty happy with that. I'm like, you put them on yourself? I said, yeah, I put the slip ones on myself. Like, you did a pretty good job. You know, they a little bit, not even, not perfectly even, but they fixed all that up for me. So I was like, oh, thanks, man. So, you know, I saved a few bucks there, I guess. All right, guys. So I'm on my way home. Put the bike away there. Get ready for this mild snowstorm tomorrow. And then don't forget, don't forget me now, because next Thursday, coming up, I'm going to have some knee surgery. So don't be like, oh, Harley Day Rider's not producing no more videos, I'm not watching him anymore. You know, don't do that. Because trust me, I will be back after the knee uh, heals back up there. It's just some, uh, uh, some uh, meniscus work they got to do. So once they get that done and I get healed back up, and I will be back out there creating more videos. So hang around with me. Until then, as always, ride your own ride, folks. Be safe out there. Take care of yourself. You know, get those bikes in for service, too. Hell, yeah, it does cost a lot of money. And I'm in a freaking leg. But if it's going to be safer and going to keep you up on two wheels, then, then take your bike and have it serviced and checked out. So until next time, Harley Day Rider will be down and out in lovely southwestern Pennsylvania. Bye-bye for now, folks.